GearNetwork.com. The following is a presentation of the Gear Radio Network. Hello, good morning. <laughs> this is the former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and you are listening to Chaz and Jay on the Fantasy Football Bros podcast. <laughs> These guys are <laughs> so funny, and they're going to help you win some money. Hey, that rhymed. Ah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, everything on three. Number three. Win on one. Oh. Win on three, one, two, three. Hey, hey I'm next up for that. <laughs> eyes on three. Everything on three, one. Everything. Everything. <laughs> uh-huh. You are now listening to the Fantasy Football Bros Podcast. Welcome back, everybody, to the Fantasy Football Bros Podcast. It's your boy, Chaz, and back for the attack. We got the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jay Coleman. Jay, what's up, dog? What's up? And over here to my right, we got the one, the only, uh, who are you again? What's your name? The no, I don't have a nickname. It no, doesn't nickname. matter what your name is. <laughs> <Son of a laughs> <bitch>. <laughs> Uh, I'm quit. Yep. Today. You just my last <laughs> episode. Already? Just, wow. Just, you got retired yeah, you, after that. You know how long he's been thinking about that? Oh, probably. Wanted, yeah, probably a while. You're, he's, <laughs> oh, boys, you're in for a ride. Uh, anyway, what's he's going on? He's been waiting guys? All, all day for this. Oh, all day. All day. Adam Van Howard, everybody. Hey guys. There we go. I forgot. Welcome back. <laughs> another Woo! episode here we are a little more Jay, uh, welcome back hope you're feeling better thanks yeah we got a little more uh, a little more action going on a little more production value going on uh we're gonna see if we can get pickles on camera because she's been visiting she jay. likes jay so yeah. we'll see but, but as soon as we record she's like nah bro yeah, she's like here. i know what's going on here she's like i don't want to be on camera i gotta get paid for it <laughs> she knows you're up to some bullshit Probably. tonight so some she shenanigans uh, <laughs> Some like Robbie Anderson shenanigans. Yes. How oh, about God. that, guys? Oh God, Robbie. I, first Anderson. of all, I hate Robbie Anderson. I He's can't stand him. Garbage. I, did, I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> but I mean, good for him because the Panthers suck. So true. They do. <laughs> and <laughs> to to get tossed from a game by your coach. Right? Yeah, yeah, we should sent, explain what sent happened. to yes. the locker room. Well, you're first of all, you're the pre- coach should have got tossed too. The the wide receiver. You're pressing coach. your receiver coach. Well, no, right. the receiver coach. I mean, yeah, but coaches, they're both, they're, they were both being shit. Listen, sure. I, I totally get that sometimes things get heated and you're jawing at your coach, whatever. It's just a, hey, go sit down on the bench and wait your turn or, or wait till I call your name again or something. I, I've gotten into it with my coaches playing football, too. But something must, I don't know. I mean, the, exactly there's a rumor happened, that he supposedly asked for a trade <laughs> mid game. <laughs> I, I don't know that. if it's I would true, love but that. well, I mean, he pretty much got it because yeah, he what, did. two hours later they traded him. Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> well, it was the next it, day. It but. was the next day, but it felt like it was yeah. two hours. <laughs> yeah, he's garbage anyway. Because you know what, good, the coach. I mean, to be fair, who who was throwing the ball in in New York? Mark Sanchez? No, that, that's or was back, it? That's um, back when he, he or was, was that too Darnold. far back. He's with Darnold. Was it Darnold? Yeah, he's whatever. Darnold. Either way, who um, cares? Yeah. But Mark Sanchez, oh my God, he retired like 10 years ago. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's young. Who cares about the Jets? <laughs> exactly. My point. Uh, the uh, owner of our station that we're on, of, of our group there, oh, yeah. uh, Sorry. JC Money. Sorry, JC. <laughs> Um, um, well, you uh, know what? You know what? Steve Wilkes, the he- interim head coach, looked at Robbie Anderson, and you know what he said? He said, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh man, he's having way too much fun with he those is. buttons." Uh, yeah, yeah. You got him queued up on the on the sound deck? Yeah, got my stream deck here. Bro. Oh my goodness! I did That's it. Amazing. So, so Robbie Anderson, <laughs> I think it's over for you, homie. <laughs> well, speaking of Robbie Anderson, uh, good timing for. The Cardinals, even though they're terrible, they right. put up nine points against Seattle. Seattle has been giving up thirty plus points to teams, even though they've been scoring thirty plus points. Arizona had nine. <laughs> well, Kyler Murray's trash, and the Cardinals. So are trash. Robbie Anderson gets traded to the Cardinals just in time for Marquise Brown to get hurt in the game, out for a month. <laughs> Look at Pickles over there. Just, just like, what the hell is going on with you guys? You guys well, are idiots. Well, there is a problem. Here. Anyway. Who is the Arizona Cardinals quarterback? Kyler. Hey there, little fella. Uh, <clears throat> Kyler Murray. Hey there, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> so we, need, we might need to take these buttons away. Yeah. We're going to have to. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, well, they Ch- suck. <laughs> Chaz uh, discovered a new toy, and um, uh, and they don't. Now know he's what, like a little kid. And kid. They don't yeah. know what the, they don't know what's on track. So anyway, for them today. So <laughs> we we've always talked bad about Kyler Murray. True, he sucks. He yeah. he is a very he, small human being. Maybe yes. a little fella. <laughs> and it's just like I'm, I'm so been so over him. He's got weapons. He's got weapons. Like I the don't last understand games, how they're so bad. The last couple games he's been running more, which helps his fantasy value. But he they scored nine points. Last yeah. Week. So so the trade. <laughs> Robbie Anderson comes over from the Carolina Panthers. But that garbage. Uh, they're getting DeAndre Hopkins back this week. Eligible to practice off his suspension. He was back at practice today, and uh, he's playing tomorrow. Yeah, that, well, no, that is actually, well, when this airs, it yeah. would be he had he would play. Yesterday. Yeah, he played yesterday. I'm so. actually starting a Cardinals uh, player. I think in my flex for tomorrow, I'm going to start Rondell Moore. It's either him or Juju, but you know, okay. I'm just going to go with Rondell Moore. The, the only, uh, I mean, it's a good. I mean, can't get any worse for Robbie Anderson. True. I mean, the Panthers are. Worse, I think, than well, this, the this Cardinals, be... but Kyler's only going to be semi okay for the next few weeks before uh, Call of Duty up? comes out. So, well, ca- call uh, campaign comes out yesterday. <laughs> so, rip Kyler Murray. Uh, is it safe to say that Kyler Murray is better than Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold? No, I don't know if it's safe to say. You don't think so? I, I don't know if it's safe to say. I yes. But really, like, I don't know. Like, well, I mean, uh, Baker's the last in the NFL in QBR. So, yeah, I, I mean, know, like, ever. He's also injured in a third month as well. And uh, PJ Walker has been starting in Carolina. That what was a disaster. XFL MVP. Right. And he started a few games for them last year, too, because Darnold got hurt. Mm-hmm. How about that guy, DJ Moore, though? Was supposed to be good this year. <laughs> Jay, did you draft him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you still have him? Uh, I don't know. No, we traded <laughs> Russell Gage for DJ Moore, and no. uh, you know what I have to say about that? I don't know. We both lost. <laughs> so. I think, yeah, I, I think that's a wash for you guys. Yeah. It's n- not good or bad. So, so uh, there's another injury. Carson Wentz, Jay's boy, your boy, Adam. No, not my boy. And then who who who's starting now? <laughs> Taylor Heineke. It doesn't matter team. what your name is. <laughs> I like Taylor hey, Heineke, actually. Carson Wentz was doing good. Listen, he played great last year. Taylor Heineke's fun. I like him. He's yeah. fun to watch. He yeah. had some good games. He won some games. Did, I, did they make the playoffs? I'm pretty sure they made the playoffs. Yeah, I think they did. I, like I mean, they got bounced in the first round, but they made it yeah, they with made Taylor it. Heineke. Yeah, that's, what, that's what counts. So what was their reasoning for going out and getting Carson Wentz? They didn't think t- Taylor Heineke could cut it again? Yeah. I don't I don't know if... I mean, if Carson Wentz is that much better than Taylor Heineke, I don't think he is either. But here's the thing: I mean, he's probably with better. Taylor Heineke. Does does this mean uh, Scary Terry is back? <laughs> and there's your answer. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. So the answer is no. Maybe though. Maybe because Heineke is not. He's not afraid to sling it. No, he's not. He's not. But, but, he he's, would, a- but he's not because he has to prove everything. They I, already passed him over once, and yeah. they were like, uh, "Taylor, great job! Thanks for making it to the playoffs." But uh, we're going to sign Carson Wentz. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to have a QB battle in, in the preseason yeah. and, and in the off season, and we're going to hope that you can take over. Yeah, we're just going to start Carson. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you and traded he did, all that, and shit. he did start off good. He did. Carson yeah, Wentz he had, was some, he had good. great games the first, what, two, three games of the season. People were rushing to pick him up. They're like, oh, my God, this guy is probably a lot better than we thought. And here we are again, getting hurt and losing his job again to to another backup quarterback. Well, maybe um, not losing. But well, maybe not, know. but we'll see, what ha- we'll see what happens. So, But if I'm Taylor Heineke, man, I'm taking all the chances. I, I am showing these guys what I can do. For sure. Again. Like, Taylor yeah. Heineke. Re- Again. By- I mean, he's got nothing to lose. <laughs> exactly. Right, so. I, 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 if I'm Taylor Heineke, that's exactly my mindset is, what do I have to lose? Yeah. I played great, brought him to the playoffs yeah. last year, and they shit on me already. If he's dog shit, he's going to be a backup still. And if he's good, he's going to be a backup still. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, so. Nothing to lose for him. I don't know. So I'm rooting for him, though, honestly. Yeah, I, I think he's Honestly, I'm rooting for him. I'm actually looking forward to watching yesterday's game. Right. <laughs> I am, um, even though... Even though I'm on vacation right now. Um, <laughs> I do want to bring up some other news items, uh, mainly uh, OBJ allegedly going. As of now, we're recording Wednesday, 
the newest news is he's going to the Chiefs. But uh, cause According to Travis you, Kelsey and his brother on their podcast, but <gasps> Von Miller also doubled down right. yesterday or something and said that he's oh, coming here. Who Are you afraid of OBJ on the Chiefs? I would be a little afraid, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would. I think I have a little bit of fear there. He's better than Juju. Oh, there's a lot yeah. of receivers that are better than Juju. <laughs> Although he did have a pretty good game against the Bills, and I don't really. Anyone that seems to leave the Steelers just sucks. Yeah. After Anybody who was on the Steelers pretty much just sucks. Well, I mean, he was better on the Steelers than. Well, he was, but. And then he got hurt. Yeah. Right. And he was also in Antonio Brown's shadow for a while. Yeah. But then when Antonio Brown left, he didn't do anything. Well, because he was hurt all the time. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, he was hurt, but he didn't do anything. Right. Which is right. why they let him walk. And what is he? <laughs> and, what, and what has he really done in in KC? Nothing except for one us. good game. Yeah, and good here, game. I actually. Yeah, he had like I think he's had two like you know average games, a couple shitty games, and then one good game. Yeah. I yeah. Have I have him in one of my <clears throat> leagues. Let me look it up and see what, what his yeah. points have been. It was been like 12, um, 6, 14, 6, 8, and then I don't even think it 30, was, whatever it was. I don't even think it was that good. Yeah, yeah. somewhere around there. Because right, I, so it was week one um, through through week six where they played Buffalo. It was, he had 12 points, 4 points, 13 points, 9 points, 6 points, 22 points. Yeah, so. So he's all over the place. Right. But he has one touchdown in six games. Yeah. Which was last week. Which was last week. And he's only broken 100 yards once, once. which was also yeah, last which week. Yeah, was last week. Yep. Um, you know, <clears throat> on a high-powered offense. On, but that's yeah. the thing is nobody's... But the problem is, is their offense is Travis Kelsey. It's not. Yeah. It is and it's not. It's Travis Kelsey and crew because it's like Travis Kelsey's the, the man. Right. He's their guy. And then there's everybody else. Right. And everyone else is sharing. As opposed to Travis Kelsey, Tyreek. Yeah, Hill. but still, I mean, even so, with the high-powered offense, they should be able to support more than one guy. You're right. I mean, I agree. we, we spread right. it around all over the place. So, so speaking of, how about them Bills? How about them Bills, baby? Let's go. The question that we always open with, we decided to how go with Robbie Bills, Anderson. Baby? Let's go. <laughs> We're going to get into our, our news. But that's notes. okay. Thank you for Kyle Williams for bringing well, us in with I mean, that. I believe you said at the beginning of uh, this podcast that when we started that uh, the Chiefs were daddy. So how do you feel about us being them? Uh, I, I mean, I love that we um, that we beat them, but I, I, I specifically called them daddy of their division when we were talking about them winning the division. He did. He did. He did. So it's, it's not that I think that well, they were going to run the yeah. league. I, I'm ecstatic that we beat them. Yeah. Of course, we beat them last year in the regular yeah. season as well. So that comes this, into this one effect. Felt different. But this one definitely felt good. Like, I think better than last year's. Well, it was nice. Because- and it was only because we did lose to them in the playoffs. And we're like, all right, well, let's just beat them in the regular season. And we're going to see them again. We know that. Yeah. It's just going to happen. Well, maybe not. Maybe Hopefully not. Like, what if hopefully they we the don't, playoffs, cause... they lose the first round? You know, you never right. know. Hopefully, yeah, My only know. takeaway from the game was I felt like we should have probably put up more points considering their secondary was shot. It was a, it was a, it was a heavyweight <laughs> it, fight. It man. was a it very was. good game despite only winning by four. And... As, as many times I felt like it should have been, you know, forty to thirty-five, but twenty-four to twenty. I mean, that's uh, t- take a win against the Chiefs anytime you can. Yeah, you know. Hang on, guys. I got somebody on the phone. Hello, who? who hello, Patrick Mahomes. Guy. What is this? Patrick Mahomes? Kermit the Frog here. Oh no, nope, I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! What what other uh, topics do we got for this opening uh, segment? Uh that's oh, one more. Uh, what do you guys think about the the, the rumors? I didn't, we didn't really discuss it too much. I think me and Adam touched on it a little bit of Wait, Christian McCaffrey. We might have touched on to it to the Buffalo week. Bills. So Jay, what do you think about it? Uh, I'm not in on trading multiple first round picks to get them. Nobody's in. I don't think anybody in the league yeah. is in on multiple first. They want it. They I want. Think they that, want that, but, but it's yeah. just well, never. Well, I'm saying there. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there. They're like, oh yeah, bring them here for. But I'm not. Le- I don't want to leverage our future and building a sustainable team oh, for that. Car- Carolina, what, what do you want? Multiple multiple first round picks. This fucking guy right now. <laughs> Oh uh, God! Well, this is all I gotta say. If he does get traded to Buffalo, this is gonna be, you know, eighty percent of Bills fans. Christian! Christian! 
<laughs> Absolutely. But it would be cool. But you know, the dude's put the dude's probably going to be twenty seven this year. He's been often injured, and he actually he's a, he's a clean bill of health this season. That's so, true. And he's been allegedly. playing very well, right? But he's been playing yeah. well. But here's my thing too. Like, uh, we could have the best running back in the league, I think, and our offensive line can't support. That, the so. thing is, though, so I don't look at Christian McCaffrey like he's got to be running between the tackles with us. I look at him like the way we talked up James Cuck to be. And and the thing is, is like, yes, you want James Cuck to like be the man, get his his snaps, and do what he's got to do, and that's fine. We we have James Cook for at least th- three years. If you're all in and you go and get Christian this year just to let him go next year, I mean, what's going to be a third round pick? <sighs> I think we, yeah, right at that point for that's one true. year. Yeah, it, if that's what you can get him for, but because I mean, Devin Singletary and Chris, first of all, Devin Singletary looks great. Fantastic. He really looks great, well, and I think the six, one seven two yards per carry, the one two year. punch between them, Devin Singletary running, Christian being your your slot guy. Like we don't have a slot guy like we thought we did. We don't. Isaiah McKenzie is, 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 likes to eat butter before he plays, <laughs> and, and, and I know he's coming he off. He had a he had a he's bad coming game off a concussion. Off I, I understand. He had a real bad. Game. I, I have to give him some slack. Oh, sure. It, it, it was definitely discouraging when you're playing against a team like Kansas City and you're going, oh, my God, this guy needs Mc- to catch a pass. McKenzie but- is not Cole Beasley, unfortunately, like we thought. No, he's not. We don't have a Cole Beasley. We don't have a Cole Beasley. But Christian McCaffrey is a better Cole Beasley. But here's the thing. You're going to get one or the other, I think, Christian or um, OBJ. If you get OBJ, then you can you can like uh, put OBJ on the outside and Diggs on the slot sometimes, switch those guys back and forth. You can really Keep Davis on the anybody. outside. It's interesting. I, I would take I would take Christian McCaffrey, but only if we're not going to have to pay him for his whole contract and get out yeah, of it next I, year. I, I don't want to take on that money yeah. For, yeah. for a running back who's 27. Or give up those injured, assets. Give up two want. firsts. Even though, you know, your first round is going to be a late one. Yeah. But so still, really, I mean, it doesn't. You can hit. But still. It's, yeah. it's a first. It's, it's all about it's building multiple firsts sustainable. It's just not going to happen. Would I rather have Christian McCaffrey over Odell Beckham? Probably. Would I rather have Odell Beckham over Christian McCaffrey? Probably. Yeah, it's just like. It's, it's <laughs> it can go either, yeah, yeah. either way. So. Yeah, it's definitely weird to like, I, I, choose. I think uh, our guy, Zach Moss's time is. Was well, he even? He, he wasn't even dressed. Was, no, he was inactive. He was inactive last They're, week. The last the two weeks, they've been using James Cook more and more. They so. have been, which means that they trust him, uh, which is good to see because he just needs a chance. I think James Cook yeah. is going to be fine in this league. Um, and and his not, bro- not his even his dressing. His brother took a while to get going. True. Like and he did. Three yeah. quarters of a season yeah, for sure. Right. Um, so, I mean, if. If we have to get rid of Moss, fine. I mean, yeah. he was, he was inactive. He was he was inactive against the Chiefs, and it. I mean, Singletary yeah. played very well. Well, also here's the thing, though. You got to remember, is uh, Devin Singletary is a free agent after this year anyway. Exactly. So, like, so that was another thing too. Is like, okay, do we take on Christian McCaffrey's contract, and we have him for because he's he's got what three years left on his contract? Something that like that. Carolina, yeah. yeah, spent a ton of money on. So, do we resign? Singletary, I, I, or do we just let him walk at the uh, end of the I, season and have both? I could see us letting him walk and and James Cuck I, being the guy next year. I could too, which is the which is why Christian McCaffrey is so interesting. Um, I mean, at any point, if he just, if, if it if it comes down to what we're trading away, if we get rid of Singletary and and we get you know third round pick and Dev, Devin Singletary for Christian McCaffrey. What? It's just he's a rental for a shitty Carolina team. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're both free. Well, Devin's a free agent. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's, so if they trade, he they only have him for the rest of the year. Yeah, he's a, a rental for what to go four and fifteen or whatever, yeah. whatever the fucking season is. Seventeen uh, games. I mean, I mentioned this before. There's a huge free agent class of running backs next year, and obviously, I like Saquon Barkley, but like. I think the one of the best fits for the Bills, other than Saquon Barkley, who's going to demand a lot of money, but this guy might demand a lot of money because he's crushing it this year, is Josh Jacobs. I think Josh Jacobs would be awesome in Buffalo, running between the tackles. I would love to see James I mean, Cook ca- catching the so passes. I, I don't see us paying a running back just because Agreed. we have too much money everywhere else. I That's, completely yeah, agree. So. I, it, it was plus the season that Which Josh Jacobs is having. Us James Which Cook is, being the number one running so back on the Bills next the, year. Back on the Christian McCaffrey thing, if we can work out some sort of deal that Carolina takes some of his contract, 
Um, I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Right? I mean, if we don't want to pay a running back, which is fine because we have James Cook for his rookie contract and Singletary could walk next year. Yeah. If Carolina was willing to eat some of that salary. Which they, which they already are. I think which he's, I think they have to I, anyway. I think yeah. what I read is that uh, this year only, whoever got uh, whoever got McCaffrey would only have to pay him $1 million. Yes, that was what I read as well. I, said, I mentioned that last week, I think. That, so $1 million? Just, with, for $1 million? You know what I have to say to that? Rizzo! Come on, baby. <laughs> Bring him to me. I mean, he's your boy. He's I, your I mean, boy. I like him, but like, he's not. I mean, Saquon's my boy. And I would rather True. have Saquon. I would rather have uh, Josh Jacobs, but that's next year. This is this year. You know what I mean? That's true. So yeah, you can right. get you can get him. You can run him into the ground, win the Super Bowl, bye, 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 bye. and that's it. Yeah. And that's it. Somebody take this button uh, away. Uh, I have button. one. I have one more player. We should probably bring up. Okay. Your guy Dak is coming back. Dak, Dak is coming back. Take over for the undefeated uh, Cooper Rush. He's not undefeated anymore. Oh, uh, that's true. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I believe country music superstar Eric Van Houten has Dak Prescott, and he does, and he started him this week, which is good good for him because yeah. he needs some fucking help. He needs some help in this league. Well, before be, with Dak, yeah, you got to start him because you know what? All the quarterbacks are garbage. Terrible. All quarterbacks are garbage. Give me five good fantasy football quarterbacks: Josh Allen, yep, Patrick Lamar. Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. Jalen Hurts has been up there. Jalen Hurts is actually yes, number Jaylen three Hurts. in the league. We're at, in fantasy we're at four. Yeah. I said give me five. <laughs> uh, Geno Smith? <laughs> eh, no, he was crappy this week. He was, this week. He was yeah, bad this week. Been. And Jared Goff right. was I'm bad this saying, week. I'm just saying, who is money? Who do you who do you start in fantasy football as a quarterback? And I like, believe. Don't got to worry. I think Joe Burrow is actually five. I looked this up earlier. Today, I mean, he had just had a big week, but he hasn't been like crazy. Herbert no, hasn't been crazy. We're talking points. Brady hasn't been crazy. I'm not asking for the top five. I'm just saying like these are like no. Well, doubt the top five it. would be the top five guys producing fantasy points. That doesn't matter. There's five Which, tight you know, ends that don't mean top five. I believe in fantasy. Either way, points. There's no or close. It, there's to no it. monster. So like Dak, yes, you start Dak because Dak is going to be. He can't be any fucking worse than Geno Smith. You know what I mean? Like he can't be any. Worse than Jared Goff or how Aaron Rodgers is right now. True. Hey, right? Geno Smith was a top QB this year in the NFL, bro. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. He's put up more fantasy points than uh, Tom Brady. That's, that's, he's right. Oof. He's having a rough time. Yeah, he's having he's a rough turn day. Aaron Rodgers is I'm having still, a rough I'm a, day. I'm more, we're way more worried about Aaron Rodgers than Tom Brady. Oh, fuck Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I, Tom Brady, I think, at, is going to get at it least together. For, at least freaking Tom Brady fucking has weapons and receivers. Like, Aaron Rodgers is struggling. That's his fault. I yes. completely agree that it's his own fault. But Brady's got Evans, Godwin, and even Russell Gage is good. Julio Jones, he's... Irrelevant, but yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be Leonard out Fournette. again. He's out again. Uh, I know he's. Been he played last two months. He, he played, played one, one game. game, one and a half game. That, that Julio Jones is. You y'all say Christian McCaffrey's made a glass. Uh-uh. Well, there's a difference. Julio Jones is 87 years old. No, he, he's like 32, <laughs> Here, which th- is like 87. I will defend Julio Jones in the beginning of his career because he was very reliable. Yes. But he was hurt he, a lot. Once he started, he was hurt a lot towards the end of his yes. stint in Atlanta, which is why they were like, yeah, get out of here. Here's what happens with every Julio, Julio Jones game. Hey, Julio, Julio Jones having a good game. Oh, he goes up for a catch. Oh, man. And that's about that's about Julio Jones, and then all his fans are sitting at him going, sitting at home going, "What the <laughs> bullshit is happening right now?" Like that is Julio Jones in a nutshell. So, yeah, I mean, I totally agree. Well, let, let, let's move on to uh, everybody's new favorite segment, and that is called. Oh man, what? I'm so high right now. I have no idea what's going on. And we're into the oh I am so God. high right now question or segment, whatever. Um, see, that this is saving me for having to uh, edit this all later. This is true. So, Can I go first? Uh, I don't know. Can you go first? Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll, go allow first. we'll allow it. We'll I had to wait for Jay to come back on this one because I have to ask oh, Jay, shit. how high were you when you offered me that trade? Oh, man. I mean, when you offered me that trade? And Listen, I just, oh, you must I have edited had, one hold player. On. Hold on. We talked about this last week. My initial offer was better than what you came back with. Uh, I mean, not that much better. Not much, but 
Because I I I man, I needed, Jay, I so high knew right was, now. I already knew what Selim was. He wasn't going to really oh, help man. me any. So I would rather take the chance on two running backs, even though they're the same team. When I need running back depth, I get so. what you're saying. I so. would get. Uh, let's just and say, like I said, let's I can't, just say I this. can't get any worse. True, but let's so. just say this: I probably would have given up a lot more to get Justin, uh, Jonathan Taylor. But when you offered me that trade, I couldn't accept it fast enough. So thank you for that. <laughs> and I, I just wanted to know. I know you were sick last week. And uh, you might have been on some pain meds. It was the Actually, medicine, might have bro. been really high. So I just wanted to check on you and, no, and I see mean, where you were. <laughs> uh, I was just like, I can't get any worse. So, <laughs> so it's like, what does it really even matter? So thank you. For, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so if you if you if you win the championship, you probably owe me. I might a split. Kick, I might uh, split it with you a little yeah, bit. Mm, kickback. I'll get you some. Uh, I'll get you some McDonald's for dinner. Well, Jay, what is your? I'm so high right now. <laughs> uh, my. I just lost my train of thought. Wait, I'm so high right now. Oh man! <laughs> I'm just Adam has just been abusing me for the last like oh, two man. weeks. <laughs> he about thinks the, about this trade. Uh, I'm just happy it happened. That's all. Uh, That's all. The abuse stops now. It's Adam, the NFL. Fella. They who the fuck? Why do we have to watch so oh, many fucking man. prime time Jay, Denver took, Broncos? You, games? you took my get dunked on. We'll talk about it though. You can you can you like, say your piece when that gets there. I will there. when like, we get there. What? Who at the NFL was like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna in the first six weeks we're gonna have the Denver Broncos play four primetime games. <laughs> to, to be fair, they come out with the schedule in April, way before Russell Wilson ever got there. So that's worse. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's worse. terrible. Yeah. So yeah, like who the f- somebody over at the yo NFL Sambor guy. <laughs> Thank <Sorry>. you. <laughs> God damn it! Like I I like. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense to me, like how they could even thought that this was a good idea. Oh no, man, it's, it's terrible! That's but, great. And I'm going to jump on too because my I'm so high right now is Russell Westbrook Wilson. God damn it! Who, I'm sorry. The, can you refer to him as his legal name, Miss Mr. Unlimited? Mr. Unlimited. I hate him so much. <laughs> we just that video resurfaced today for some. We're going to be reason. talking a lot about this because he's my uh, get dunked on. So. Unlimited. Okay. He is so. He's done. Yes. Did he, you guys see him miss a wide open receiver in the middle of the yes, field? Yes. Horrible. He was literally in his line of sight. Yes. And he missed him. No, the problem is, and, is it's not in his line of sight because. Hey there, little fella. He's this tiny guy. He can't see over the Dude, line. And everyone acts no, like no, he's, no, 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 he's no. Drew Brees, but he's not. That, that offensive line split open. And he had a wide open lane to look at a guy sitting right in front of him, five yeah. yards past the, the first down, I, w- completely wide open. I don't think. God, I wish I could find the clip. I don't think he could hit a fucking killer whale wide open <laughs> at this point. <laughs> he's shot. This point, he's, he's done. He is shot, man. He, he, he looks shot. Okay. He looks like Peyton Manning did in his last year. Can't throw the ball. Doesn't know what he's doing. It's crazy. And, he's, it, and they don't have the defense that Peyton Manning did to carry him. He, he's not that old to say that he's declined. Like, exactly. There's no reason that he that's, should be. Right. And that's the point. Is this Peyton, tenth at, least with, at least Peyton Manning was in like year 19. This probably. is like his 10th. This is like yeah, year and, 10. And Peyton Manning was, was like spines broken. Exactly. His arms he broken. Had, he had shoulder problems and a back injury. And he was certainly decaying in, in his 38th year on this earth as a player in the yeah. league for the last I mean, 19 he could throw it, a spiral just, for shit but at least he exactly. could hit a player i put I mean. it in the super bowl i'm pretty sure he threw like 170 yards one touchdown an interception and their defense got a pick six i think and then uh and who was the uh mvp of that super bowl uh actually what did they give it to peyton then no year? no i didn't no it was, it was von miller how about them bills baby oh, let's, go. let's go baby it was von go. miller on defense because he had like three or four sacks yeah, von miller's the man uh that so yeah well i mean I just, I just, I wasn't Mr. in on, I've never been on Mr. Unlimited. Unlimited. Oh, can we make that? We need to put that on the street. I can, need to get we need to make that, that, that as a drop. Mr. Unlimited. I can get Mr. Unlimited as a drop. Um, and then his, 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 just, it's just everything about him. He's not good. He's always been, he's always had excuses like, oh, he's so good, but they don't, they, they run the ball too much. They run the, it's not, he makes his receivers good, but they, they run the ball too much. It's Pete Carroll's fault. Now he's garbage and they're like, oh, but it's not his 
his fault. It's oh, it's Nathaniel it's, Hackett it's is Nathaniel the worst coach Hackett's in history. Fault. It's his fault. Oh, uh, well, well, Russell bench Melvin Gordon. Right, Russell Wilson threw that ball over and didn't reach the guy, but this was because of the coach. The coach's fault. It's not Russell Wilson, bro. Russell Wilson. Rest in peace, dude. Because you're done. You're done. I can't stand him. I never could. You know who else is done? Who that? Your guy, Melvin Gordon. I'm not nope. Nathaniel Hackett, Nathaniel Hackett had a talk with him, benched. and he is starting this week. That is what after, after that, being benched after being benched. Yeah, they did say that, that is what Nathaniel Hackett came out and said today at his press conference because Wednesday's media day. He said, "I sat down with him. We're okay. <laughs> He's starting. Okay, thank you, Nathaniel. Appreciate it. Oh, man. But it, w- w- <laughs> what? <laughs> I I I've always liked Melvin Gordon. I think he's a really talented son of a bitch. So like." There's just it, the, it, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we have pickles. Are we getting there on camera? We can see this? pickles. Pickles, what's up, Hi, homie? Pickles. What's up, homie? You know what I got to say to you, pickles? Hey, Nathaniel there. Hackett probably had to go back to his uh, that guy he hired to manage uh, the game or whatever, and was like, "Oh, do you think we were in the wrong about Melvin Gordon?" <laughs> you are because you're starting Mike Boone and 97 year old Latavius Murray. Like, come on, come on, bro, do better. How you- the fuck? Do you take Latavius Murray off the New Orleans Saints practice squad and go, get in there, kid? Kid. They're all the same age. I know. <laughs> that's That was the joke. Well, I think we've established since Daniel Hackett he does sucks suck. as he a does fucking suck. coach. Dude, so Latavius mean. Murray, who's been on four teams in the last three years, maybe two years. Oh, my God. You know, it's like it reminds me of like, you know, when you have a manager at work. Denver just high. Well, Denver's the one yes. that legalized weed first, yes. so they all might be high up there. It reminds me of when you get like a manager at your job that's a real try hard and tries to change everything or just tries to be a fucking like, you know, ruler, like but grab everyone by the balls, you know, and that's what he's doing, I think. He's, this is my team. I'm Nathaniel Hackett. I look like Charlie Brown. I'm going to start fucking Latavius Murray 10 days on my team. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Pickles, exactly. Pickles what, do you, what do you think? Hey there, little fella. Yeah. Pickles, Pickles <laughs> says fuck, fuck him. Uh, anyway, anyway, it's, it's, it's just, the Broncos are a joke. The, the Broncos are a joke. They are a joke. Uh, let's get into well, well, you know what? We'll, we'll go off off of my list a little bit. We'll go into the get dunked on section yeah, let's because do that. Jay said it was similar. So. <laughs> Down, bro. Let me start. I love that intro. Thank you. Let me let me start. I made that. Go ahead. It's, it's your show. It is your show. Get dunked on, bro. Justin Reed. Wow. You're gonna try <laughs> again. By the way, you're gonna try <laughs> to go one on one with the great one, Josh Allen. Josh Allen's running up, and he's like, "It doesn't matter what your name is." And he just like brushes it and just. Right over the top of him. Just like Josh Allen came up to him and said, Hey there, little fella. And just cleared him like you wouldn't believe. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Justin Reed's career is over right now. So it's just like, how do you try to go one-on-one with Josh Allen in the open field? As a safety. As a safety, nonetheless. Now, I couldn't do it. No. There's no way. There's not many quarterbacks that can do that. Yes. No. I, if Josh, I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Josh Allen's the only one that dude, can Dude, he, he cleared that man. Like, over his shoulders. I don't even know if he touched him Reed, like, with his hand. Yo, Reed was almost vertical. Yeah. He was almost standing straight up when he when he lun- when he he launched himself to get, you know, take out the legs. Josh was clear over him. Clear. I don't even know if Josh put his hand on him. I don't think he touched him. To, to, like, to like, clear you, him. You see Josh Allen coming at you. I'm just step to the side. I mean, just just get out of his way. Who did he jump over last year? Was it Reed again? I don't know. I could have swore so it was Reed again, but I I don't know. He gets like one a year at least. Yeah, like it was like the the Vikings linebacker a couple years ago. Anthony, think, Barr. Yeah, Anthony Barr. Yeah, Anthony Barr. And you're right. Yeah, you're right. Just, last year was another Chiefs safety. I can't remember. I thought it was Reed, but I can't remember. I have to look that back up. But I don't. Know. Either way, he, I, I think it, it's funny. I think Josh Allen had that that in his head. It's like if I get a chance, I'm just going over the top. I just think he. I just think he naturally reads it because he does. He, it. he does. He's and never I, failed. He does. You're right. He's you're never absolutely right. He, he's never bald somebody's face. You know what I mean? He never. He's not he's, failed at it. He's got to have like insane vision. Yeah, okay. and hops. And yeah, well, yeah. that too. But the division to always see that coming and like 
timing it perfectly all the time and everything. Like it's it's crazy. Yeah, I agree. He's a freak. Well, so wild. get dunked on, bro, Justin Reed. See you later. All right. What about you, Jay? What you got? Mine is your guy, Russell Westbrook. Okay. Wilson. Russell, West, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Mr. Unlimited. Mr. Mr. Unlimited. They both suck, by the way. So does Russell Westbrook. Terrible. He's <laughs> just <laughs> fucking trash. <He> so <laughs> we don't do research on this show often, but he's so bad I had to do some, okay. some research. Oh, okay. His QBR. 35.8. <laughs> that ranks him the 25th QB in the NFL. Wow. Two, for QBR. You want to know million. You want to know who's ahead of him for QBR? Don't tell me, Gino. Gino Smith. Oh, boy. Cooper Rush. <laughs> Cooper. Marcus Mariota. Super Cooper. I like Marcus. His completion percentage is only 58%. Oh, that's rough. With only five TDs and three interceptions. <laughs> I read a stat today that Russell Wilson's mansion has eight more bathrooms than he has touchdown passes. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible stat to have. There's six games. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, his rate, passer rating is 83.4, which ranks him 23rd in the NFL. Oh, wow. Jeez Louise. As he's getting basically what oh breaks God. down to $48 million a year for that. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You are fucking garbage. Crazy. I mean, he's a fucking he's swindler because he was able to get this fucking contract. Well, but. it must have been his alter ego, Mr. Unlimited, <laughs> doing his contract <laughs> negotiations. He signed to <laughs> through age like 41. So can you imagine they have to pay this guy to be this bad? He, he's just he, for I, a lot more years. I just feel like we've. Uh, what else can you say about him until he shows us different? Like. We were right from the get go. He's not. They they make him out to be like he's a superstar. He's not. He literally downgraded. He's got worse receivers, worse head coach, worse situation, better defense. That's it. You know who's barely. You know who's happy about this? Who that? Fucking Seahawks, man. They got a hole. Killing it with Geno. Okay, they were like, they. they you want how much, Russ? And he was like. $48 $48 million a no, year? No. You know what he was? You know what he said? <laughs> Unlimited. Yeah, he said, Unlimited. How much you want? Unlimited. Yes. <laughs> and and Pete Carroll said, <laughs> And they, they come back with a, a trade for <laughs> Drew Locke, by the way. Uh, and no offense. Okay. And then they're like, you know, Gino, see what you got. G- he's top 10 in the league right now. Yeah. Maybe top five if I look it up. But yeah. I don't feel like doing that because we don't do any research here. Nah, bro. But I mean, it's just <laughs> it's it's outrageous. It, it's, how, it's, it's absolutely it's staggering how bad he is. Mind blowing. Mind bottling. Mind bottling. Sorry. Mind bottling. Well, I need that drop too. Mind bottling. We need that one. And an unlimited. <laughs> I can get those. Look at them. <laughs> um, my get dunked on is, is it kind of goes hand in hand with with Jay's. I'm so high because this is what I wanted to talk about. The NFL. How do you not have something in place to where you can flex games out in like week three? Mm, mm. I I need to know why these TV contracts are so locked in and you can't flex anything until week 12. So we're all stuck here watching the Broncos three out of four weeks on prime time. Well, we're, we're going into week seven. But I, for the reference, it's, we watch them like 75% of the time. Are you kidding me, NFL? Get your contracts and you get your shit together to where you can flex out awful teams for better watch. There are games that we don't get on TV and we have to stream or whatever that are so much better. Well, and that's the thing. I would have loved to watch the Jets destroy Miami. You wouldn't Prime. think that ahead but of time. You wouldn't though. think that ahead of time, but the Jets gained some steam well, since week but, three. They're yeah. four and two. Also, though, like. <clears throat> They should have never been given that many prime but time games either. I There's agree. so many better teams that don't my, even have anywhere and, near that. Exactly. And that's my point is that we're now missing out on all these great games because we got to watch the shitty Bears and the Commanders on oh, Thursday rough, night. Rough. Yeah. We got to watch the Denver Broncos who are, and, and don't get me wrong, it, they were against the Chargers who also haven't been playing very well. Calm down, but Jay. This whole time. We're sitting here watching games like 
the Broncos versus who they play Indy. It was twelve to nine. Yeah. Oh, that was the, like, the are worst game ever. Are you fucking kidding me, NFL? Get your shit together and get dunked on, bro. This Fix your contracts and, and, and get the. <laughs> flex these games out. You can tell who is good. You can tell who is good and who is not. Three weeks into the season, yeah. Start flexing games early and getting this god awful TV off of the screen in prime time. Can I be Mister Conspiracy Sea Theorist for a second? Oh my god! Sure. Yeah. Your show. The Broncos just uh, their new owner paid like the most ever for this team. I bet you there has some kind of deal where it's like I'm only going to play this team if my team gets in on all these prime time games. Maybe I bet I you be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, really. It just makes zero sense how, because they basically go like how good the team was last year when they make prime. Like you who was like, yeah, the Broncos deserve four you, prime uh, time games out of six weeks. You are a billion dollar corporation, multi, <laughs> multi, the multi, the multi. Broncos I'll, alone were like five billion, exactly. Multi billion dollar corporation, and you mean to tell me that you can't put something in your contracts with these TV providers or whatever the fuck you want to do to to be able to swap the schedule around to get a, a good watch? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Did they pull the ultimate swindle of fucking Amazon too? Oh my god. Amazon buys these Thursday night games and Listen, they're just absolutely the Amazon fucking a horrible billion I'm pretty sure they paid billion like a billion dollars to get the freaking rights to all this. Yeah. The, the week, and, and week for, one was not on Amazon Prime because it crap. was it was opening day for the yeah. NFL. Fine. That's great. Amazon Prime now, like now you literally force people. I know it's it's like eight bucks a month to have Amazon Prime, Not or, or, or fifteen or something. It's a lot now. It's like fifteen bucks a month it's worth to it. have Amazon, you know, Prime and all that other shit. So you're now you're, now all these people are spending more money on Amazon that they normally wouldn't just to watch football. Yeah, it's smart really, but t- to to not have anything in place to be like, wow, the Colts. And the Broncos are not good. Who can we put in? You know, it doesn't have to be the day before. Yeah. You have plenty of time to go, all right, we got to swap this game out, this game out, this game out, this game but out. But the problem yeah. is, is that there's certain. So what were they going to swap? Obviously, everyone's going to say the Bills and Chiefs, right? But uh, I bet you CBS is sitting there going, uh uh-uh. Not happening. I agree. And that's exactly my point yeah. is that this, these TV contracts are like, oh, no. CBS, we're getting the Bills Chiefs. That's that and that's sure. that. Yeah. And don't you know, they okay. deserve it, right? I agree, hundred uh, percent. And then they should. But flex, l- l- dude. You could have like any other game. Basically, put, give me the Lions. And I can't believe I just said that. But they've been playing good football, and they're entertaining, and they're fun to watch. And Dan Campbell has them rolling. Yeah. Okay, they didn't play very well against the Patriots. Fine, whatever. They have a good defense. Give me something other than the, the garbage that we have gotten on prime time. Please. No, I, I agree. On I agree. Well, it's because Fuck. they thought the Broncos were going to be good. Everyone thought the Chargers were going to sure. be good. I mean, and they haven't been good, right? And it's just that's a lot of the prime time games so far, and especially because those are West Coast teams that play later in general. So you get a lot of West Coast teams, you know, and you always have to have the Cowboys and the Giants. I mean, that's just. Give me the Giants. They've been playing great. Give me, give me a Sunday night. How Giants about the game. Else, uh, the announcement too from the NFL? Well, now we're gonna have a fucking Black Friday game. That's cool. Well, the reason they can do that is they li- literally can't have Friday night games because of high school football. So, and I remember this happened about decade twelve years ago. Can do whatever they want. No, no, about decade twelve years ago, there was like a a storm coming in, so they moved some game that was in Miami to Friday night. And it was not allowed to be on yeah. television. Listen, at all. If, if the NFL wants a Friday night game, the yeah, NFL is going to get a Friday, night, a Friday game. night game. It's not even Friday they night. They fucking it's Friday what at other? three o'clock in the afternoon. It's Black Friday. But you want three wanna, o'clock in the afternoon? What other organization owns a day of the fucking week. Uh, None. Uh, uh, WWE with Mondays. That's <laughs> WWE. No one cares. <laughs> The NFL owns a day of the week. If they want a Friday night game, they're going to fucking get a Friday night game. Well, let's see what Patrick Mahomes has to say about it. Kermit the Frog here. All right. Thank you, Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. But it's going to be so you're going to have you're going to have Thanksgiving. 
football, and then you're going to have Black Friday football. So you're going to have Sunday football, Monday football, Thursday football, Friday football, Sunday football. That's a bad thing? No. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on what the games are. True. If we have to sit through fucking like three shitty like Denver Broncos games. What if Denver played games. all of them? <laughs> what if Denver had all five games that week? Well, I mean, their players would probably be like dying on the field. <laughs> well, Denver don't care about that. That, that's Clearly. true. <laughs> All right, let's move in to <laughs> the best segment that I've been looking forward to. Time for victory lap. So why don't we start with you this time? Man? I totally forgot about the segment. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so here we are. No, I do have one. Okay. No, I just meant like I thought we already did it today, but I must oh, be so man. high right now. You, you're right. so high right. Anyway, so high right now. We will start with I think me. I'm uh, taking your cat home nice. today. Yeah, by the way. And 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 it pains me to do this. My victory lap today goes to you, Chaz, for beating me this week in fantasy football. After I talked so much shit, I fucked around and found out. My team did not perform as well as they should have, hey there, and, little and fella. I commend you on a in a nice victory over the champ, premature champ, who was the, in first place, but now I dropped down to third, which is okay. But the paper champ, um, right? <laughs> well, you know, so, that but goes, I, my my victory lap goes oh, to you, I and mean, you did outperform me. Well, so, my victory lap the, goes. The real champ is Eric. So my the, my victory lap goes to. Um, me, baby, oh. me, because not only did I beat you, and thank you for oh. all your kind words, in our other league, I also beat you over there. So what do I have to Barely. say? What do I have to say about that, Jay? <laughs> all I do is win, 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 no matter I what. Mean, got money on my mind. Barely, that is true. Barely. That's more impressive for beating me and my team. Oh my god! I mean, you all, you came close to losing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I won. I beat both of you, you guys. Did? Yes. In and our I home, stand a chance. And I'm ho- in our home league. I'm five and one now, and in the top position in our league, I'm third or fourth or whatever. I'm but, fourth, so you're fifth. But I also. Stomped, I'm sorry. I'm third. You are fourth. I also like, and you're right. I did. I stomped you. Like, you did beat me pretty like, bad. I was I the need, highest point of the week. You needed like ninety points from Austin. I needed. I needed like 50. I think I needed fifty plus. It was one fifty one forty four to one twelve sixty two. So. I, I, I just had a bad. I had a down week from everybody. Um, in the words of being a winless team. In the words of Pantera, Adam, domination. It is domination, and that is what happened. Yeah, it was, and I, I will fully admit it that I I talked a lot of shit. I did not back it up. Nope. <laughs> you want to know why? Adam I fucked lost? around because he fucking ripped me off. I, well, because he had no John at the tent. I had no Deion Jackson because I was at a wedding when Jay, uh, when when Chaz picked him up. I texted him right after. I'm like, fuck, man, I didn't check my phone. I was at a wedding, couldn't get to my phone, couldn't get to my waivers. Once I got the alert that uh, I got the alert that um, Taylor was out again. I got the alert that Hines was out. I got the alert that Deion Jackson was starting. And I checked it all at the same time. And, of course, the last alert that I look at, Christian Mingle has picked up Deion Jackson. I'm like, you got to be fucking To do nothing. Right back no, oh, he actually started. He actually started. Yes, he did. 20, 23 Chaz points or 28 points? picking up players that he doesn't need. I'm well, no, he picked them up and started them. I he started did it on purpose because I, he knew that. I started was, him over Mostert. And I was he looking. knew that I had uh, JT and he was like, yeah, I'm going to fuck this I was guy. looking and I was like, Raheem Mostert to this kid. This kid, actually, he had a good week. He, he had, had a good great week. Game. And he had a good week the week and before. Matt, Matt Ryan kind of came out of nowhere, too. So I just looked at him and I said, on hey, a little fella. And I put him on my team. And I started him. You did. And I was high score this week. So pats on my back. Adam? My victory lap goes to you. Your my victory lap goes to you. What do you got, Jay? Jay, where's your victory <laughs> lap? To me, right? <laughs> No. <laughs> to you for stealing my because cat? this is your show doesn't mean, you know, we all have to praise you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not I'm, pra- actually, I'm not praising him by any means. Yeah, I know. I'm just congratulating I'm, him for a good win. I'm actually surprised uh, he wasn't like, oh, my victory lap is uh, me for ripping you off. All I do is win, win, win. That was, that was my get high. You were yeah. very high that last ah, week. You could have used it for both. I could have. I could use it for all three segments, really. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, I, t- I said, fucking I said the abuse would stop, and it stops now. Does uh, does your brother listen to this show? I have no idea. I mean, but he's too busy. I hope he's not, country music superstar. My victory man. lap is country music superstar <laughs> Eric Van Houten is my fucking bitch. 
<laughs> oh, shots fired. Jeez, I beat him. Oh, my I goodness. Am, uh, I, not much has gone right for me <laughs> this year in fantasy, mainly because of Adam. I'm convinced. Can, he, can I tell you he outscores you by like 100 points? <laughs> in like the season. And you are one game ahead of him? Yeah. So You are in 10th, and he's in 11th. He's not even the worst in the league. No, who is? Joe Dierte. Oh, my goodness. That's Dave. Yeah, Dave. Um, So, I beat him at the Royal Rumble. He didn't show up. So, then I had to... <laughs> I had to beat him at the Ladders match. Yes, you did. And now my shitty fantasy team He's been beat him. So, I am fucking undefeated. So she's this you really are. You really are. You really are. Amazing. <laughs> how about my victory lap? How about nothing else has gone right for me this year? How about producer of the year over here? By the way, that worked out nice, didn't it? That was nice. <laughs> nice little touch. There you go, country music superstar Eric Van Halen. You made it on the podcast again. And just remember one thing, country music superstar Eric Van Halen, because you, you, and you were all victims. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Fuck, got money on my mind. I can never I, get. Wasn't that, I, song, I quit this show. wasn't that song popular <laughs> at one point? Yeah, about 12 years ago. Me and Jay used to rock to that song. Probably about yeah. 12 years ago. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Me and Jay used to rock. Probably longer than that. <laughs> Maybe. 14. Let's ask, let's ask a good look. I don't want to ask a look. So she's oh, listening yeah. anyway. Uh, I think, I think uh, we need to fire look. Adam from the show for a week to see if my fantasy team start winning again. All right, Adam. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, is that drop right there wasn't for any of that. Originally, that was to talk about how it the, it is the bye weeks. <laughs> But I use it for a lot of other fun. There are a lot of bye weeks yeah. this week. Oh my god, Philly, <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo. I've, I've been on a bye week Vikings, in this fantasy uh, like, league for. If you have anybody from week. those teams, yeah, it's probably looking pretty slim for you. J- J- yeah. J- JJ, Dalvin Cook, uh, Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, Josh, Josh Allen, Allen, Devin Singletary, Devin, Sing- Devin Singletary, from Jalen Hurts, Hurts he's a, AJ he's a Brown, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith. Miles Sanders, who's actually playing really well, and Cooper, I could admit Cooper that Cup. Oh, the Rams, yes, that was the other one. Cooper, Cooper Cup, Cup, Matt Stafford, uh, Allen Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking a lot of lot of lot of powerhouse offenses on um, bye weeks this week. So. Cam Akers. Yeah, take a take a check at our uh, our fantasy football beards later. We'll we'll give you some some fill ins for those high powered guys that are oh, off this week. Oh boy, fantasy football beards. <laughs> yeah, we got to change that name. <laughs> well, I mean that's pretty much it for the show, y'all. Any last any final words before we get to the song of the week? I'm good. Well, I think no, because you ruined the end of the show for me because you guys <laughs> couldn't watch Halloween. Oh, that's right. Would you? Would you? You can talk about you it. T- if you like. I have. Heard, I'm not going to watch it. I heard it was awful. I heard from Robbie Vegas that it was awful. It's, Jay, tell us what you think. It is out of this final like adaptation. The, the final with, trilogy. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis. It's fucking dog shit. Oh wow. <sighs> Ooh, he threw out the dog shit. It, That's it, how you know I it's mean bad. I and there's like this theory because it that they followed the original um ones because like the first one everyone loved. The second one was like mixed reviews, and then the third one everyone hated, and Michael Myers wasn't really like in it a lot. And this series kind of did the same thing. I mean, like most of the movie had nothing to do with Michael Myers, so right. I mean, it, it was just bad, especially considering this is Jamie Lee Curtis's. She's not playing this character ever again. She's still hot. No, I don't think so. She's not. I just seen her but, I was like, no, 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 she's not. No, she's not. I, I agree with you guys. I mean, she's been playing this character 50 years. This, yeah. is, this is her last raw, and you just you can shit the bed on the last movie. I mean, come on. Well, I do want to watch it, and I will watch I'm it. I'm going to watch it as well, just because I, I want to film. Don't go to the theater. It's not oh, no, the theater. I'll, I'll, I'll... Which was even more the, disappointing. It's on one, it's one of the like apps. one of those I'll movies where it. it's like, you got to see it in theaters, and then I was just like, I would have rather watched it than you the cock, if you will. Yes. The cock. Well, I do want to watch it, so I'm going to watch it. Maybe I will watch it. It's the only one I don't have. I'm probably going to get it, though. I still got to watch it. But I'm on vacation this week, y'all. Hey. Where are you going, Jack? I am going to Washington, D.C. Let me shut Michael Myers up here. Okay. (laughs) 
we don't get a pay vacation for the show. No, no, you don't. No, we don't. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called because I paid for everything. It's a show. Uh, I'm going to Washington D.C. I'm going to catch. I'm going to catch Iron Maiden in concert. I'm going to go to Bush Gardens. I might go see the Washington Wizards play the Chicago Bulls. And okay. um, you uh, want me to take care of pickles while you're gone? Apparently, she's going to leave with you tonight. Yeah, you better not. It's my cat now. Apparently, <laughs> it's my show and it's your cat. <laughs> The litter needs to be changed, Jay. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> well, Jay, I believe I gave you the task of picking the song of the week. That is true. Yeah, last minute. Last minute meaning this morning? Yes. Like 12 hours ago, if not more? And I'm pretty yeah, well, sure you said like two weeks ago that you wanted us to choose. So. Yeah, I did. I, it's okay. He that doesn't was, listen. That was two I weeks remember. Ago. He doesn't listen. He, don't, he doesn't li- I guarantee you he didn't I listen didn't, to the I episode last week. No, I did. I, I just forgot. Part. No, I did listen to the last one. <laughs> Adam did his part picking the most basic bitch yep, don't song care. ever. Yeah. Don't have me, bro. Yeah. I, when you told me that. You said spooky song. No, I'm sorry. You said spooky song. Spooky's the like, added yeah. a little bit. This is a thriller. Yeah. Right, well, Jay, I mean, you- I, it's it's hard to pick a spooky song, honestly. I didn't really... I couldn't really... Uh, At least I was prepared. I'm I'm prepared. I just, like, I'm not, like, in love with my pick. But, I mean, it's a really good song. Well, what you got? Uh, we're going back to a band I picked earlier. The only time you let oh, me pick a song. Oh, my goodness. Are you going motionless? Yes. And it's Werewolf. Werewolf? Okay. I yeah. don't think I know that Spooky. one. I don't know it either. It's off their newer album. We'll, we'll listen to it. This is Motionless and White with Werewolf. White. A band that we're going to see, right? Werewolf. I want to. I thought you got tickets. Not yet. I got tickets. Why didn't you get me a ticket? I got tickets before we even discussed it. Because I wanted to go to that. Because concert. this is his show, Jay. Yeah, you didn't exactly. understand that. We're just, <laughs> we're just hired help here. <laughs> <laughs> you, I let you snuggle my cat all day. I, I let her snuggle me. She's been on you for like the whole show. You little, I know, she missed me. I wasn't here last week. Little brat. She had to deal with you two. She was concerned. This last brat. week by herself. Well, so motionless and white werewolf. Oh, yeah. We kind of look like werewolves. Kind of. You do. You look like a Wolverine sometimes. You kind of do. When your beard bit. gets wild. Yeah. 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 You well, do. None of us, you know, can grow good beards. That's not true. Mo- this side of the room can. Th- that's that's yeah. what I was saying. <laughs> Pickles can. <laughs> she has a nice beard. <laughs> she loves my beard. All right, everybody. Thank you for checking <laughs> out the Fantasy like Football <laughs> Bros podcast. <laughs> One last time. Uh, um, jo- or, uh, Patrick, you there? Kermit the Frog here. All right, Patrick. Thank you for uh, joining in. Everybody, thanks for checking out it out. Uh, hopefully, you're checking out all our segmented videos. And we'll probably, I'll probably have a vlog for you for my little trip. If you guys want to see the madness that I get into, aka a fat dude walking around uh, Bush Gardens going to see Iron Maiden and eating a lot of food. I'd watch. Uh, now, what? you don't even watch the videos we have now. True. All right, Adam. But I'd watch that, though. Adam Van Howen, thank you for joining us. Thank you. One thing to remember. All I do is win. Okay, Jay, Jay Coleman, uh, thank you for snuggling my cat, wow, and thank yep. you for joining us. See you next week. Hey there, little fella. And we'll see you next week <laughs> on the Later, Fantasy guys. Football Bros Podcast. <laughs> Peace. I can feel you, I can hear you howling in my bones, and there's an evil lurking in the dark. The ever-shifting skin is ripping as you take control I can't tell where you end and where I start A ferocious diagnosis under moonlit hands Well, the man become the monster or the monster become man
The preceding presentation has been brought to you by the Gear Network.